Ciao, welcome to Beatspot, I'm Marco and in this video I'm reviewing Cable Guys Shaper Box 3, so it's a new update. Now let's check what's new in it. So we have the features and here's what's new. So easier waveform editing, so animate any effect over time with easiest ever waveform editing tools, so create curved, stepped or ramp effects patterns in seconds and bring rhythmic life to your music. Then we have a follows any rhythm, so now you can trigger all nine shaper box effects with any sound for reactive time twists, distortion envelopes, filter plugs, transient design, and any other triggered effects you can imagine. Then we have triggers from any track, so want to duck your bass with volume shaper but the kick isn't for full, no problem, just turn on the external sidechain input and audio triggering follows any kick rhythm. This is great. And it's only not, and it's not only for ducking bass lines, I want to trigger a bit crushing putter on your synth every time the snare hits, now you can. Then we have external sidechain view. So see your kick drum overlaid on the baseline with volume shapers new show external sidechain feature. <laughs> this is gold. And then liquid shaper. Dive deep into sound design. Liquid shaper gives you wild jet plane flanging and deep lush phasing in one shaper. Create gentle stereo modulation or monstrous robotic comb filter effects. Okay, that's nice. And then enhanced browser. So that looks really nice. So find your sound in a few clicks with more than 600 cleverly categorized presets filtered by Shaper. Save your faves and find your custom presets. So that's great. Now let's see it in action. So first things first, I want to try the sidechain function. So I have this curve and I can use the sync automation, but I want to use the sidechain to the kick. So let's try with audio. I go here and we are triggering the external stuff. So this is actually receiving the sound from it, but we have all these controls to fine tune the sound we want to detect because we might, for example, be sidechaining to a drum group or a drum uh, sample, drum break, and we want to isolate the kick drum. So now we are working with the kick only. And as you can see, each time the kick hits, this is restarting. But let's try with the drums group. Now it's triggering only with the snare because we have the input filter here. So now let's isolate the kick. Let's try with the gain all the way up. Okay. So we have this one that enables the external uh, sidechain trigger. Then we have the solo to kind of listen to the source. Then we have the input filter. Then we have the algorithm. So for this example, drums goes well. Then we have the detail. And then we also have the trigger shift if you want to move the trigger earlier or later. We also have the MIDI out, but I'm not interested in it. Here we have the mid high band, so we are affecting only everything below 91 hertz, but this is just an example. But now let's look also at the new effect, which is liquid. So this is the effect. So we can add an automation. You can add an automation anywhere you see this envelope icon. So like rhythm and also for the feedback. And you can later scale it. And another cool thing 
is this envelope. So this is basically detecting the envelope of the input source and adjusting, creating an automation based on that uh, volume movement. <laughs> and it's using as a starting point the envelope we design so if we want like it to be reliant only on the input sound we can do it like this and we can also move it and move this down or the other way around and the same goes for this one. So this kind of feature frees up some space and automation stuff that we will be doing in scenes like Serum, Vital, Falcon, etc. And we can use that freed up space for some more accurate or crazy stuff and do this more basic but also detailed stuff outside of it and that's great if you're using something like uh, base loops base samples whatever may, maybe from splice or any other stuff or you are working with a club with stamps or you are mixing someone else's stuff you don't have access to the synth to the actual vst and kind of play with all the envelopes and stuff uh, you have uh, to manage uh, sound design somehow and mixing somehow with these effects uh, these little effects you can do it with this so now that i covered the new effect let's look at the preset browser so let's go here so this is the browser it's really nice really i mean well sorted out and we have the showcase we have all we have my preset and I think my presets are kind of here. No. So these are the presets we actually create. And then we also have the heart section. So all tuck, tuck, tuck. And let's click here. And we are filtering all the presets we like. And so these dots are the modules that are being implemented. So we know that this one, it's only the sidechain, the volume thing. We know that this one is kind of the filter, the bit crusher and the sound. So this is a really nice overview of your samples. And here we can filter all the stuff. We can also search by name. So maybe like snare, and we have all these presets. So th this is perfect if you are in the creative process or also in the mixing process and you're looking for something specific for tailored sound or effect or goal you want to achieve. So this is a really nice upgrade for Shaperbox and it makes it an even more relevant tool for mixing and sound design too i mean it was already relevant for sound design but all the envelope functions makes it an even better and necessary tool to make weird stuff and also subtle stuff i mean all the stuff you will do in ableton or in any other daw with max for live stuff uh, by designing the automation lines which it takes some a lot of time i mean uh, this plugin is making all this stuff way way easier and faster so you can scan through ideas and presets and stuff and get to the point way quicker so this is it for this video hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one